Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I've got another unboxing for you. So today I received this, ooh, it's a bit heavy, this parcel, it's come from the USA. And inside this should be a Hoover convertible model 1060. And it's supposed to be almost like new. Um, but that's very typical of vacuums in America I've found. Um, they always seem to be in really good condition. Um, vacuums over here just tend to be battered, I don't know why, but it's quite difficult to find um, a vacuum, like an old one I mean, um, in really good condition, uh, in the UK anyway. But anyway, we'll have a look inside this box and see what we've got. I think he said he sent the toolkit with this as well, so we'll uh, have a look inside. But I've been interested in this model for a while now, so I'm glad to finally own one. So let's cut the tape and we'll get inside the box. Okay then, so here we are. So the bits of paper on here are just covering up addresses and other details, so um, that's why I've got these bits of tape and stuff on here and paper. Anyway, I've got the trusty scissors. And they're not my usual pair of scissors that I have in this room. I had to go and get these from my mum's craft room, so shh, don't tell her. <laughs> um, so anyway, we'll just cut the tape here. So we've got some packaging, which is always good. Um, I wouldn't expect anything less, considering this has come from another collector. Okay. Ooh, so we have the, um, the little bag for the cleaning tools. Genuine Hoover. I imagine this would have probably been a... I don't know, actually. I was going to say it might have been more of a, a clear colour, but I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be that colour. But you can see there it says without the glare on it, sorry about that. It says Hoover cleaning tools anyway. So in here, yes, he sent me a spare fan which I said I needed for um, um, Hoover uh, Elite. So that's good. So we have the brown crevice tool. Oh, interestingly, it doesn't have the pip on it for the that clicks into the the wand, that's strange. There's two little round pieces on there, you'd think they'd have a Hoover logo on, but they don't. That's a bit of a different design crevice tool than what we've, we're used to over here. That's a bit different. So that's the crevice tool, so we have the... Oh, that's a bit of a bit of fluff in there. A bit of American, American hair and fluff. We have the um, upholstery nozzle. We have the same exact thing, but they were either white or cream. We never had a brown one, as far as I'm aware, anyway. And it's a really good upholstery tool, though. It has the uh, rubber fingers on the back, which helps pick up hair and things. And, of course, this does have the pip fitting, which, as you can see, it doesn't on the crevice tool, bizarrely. And finally, in this little bag here, we have the dusting brush. Dusty, you know. And, oh, it's a bit different to ours. Ours didn't look like that. I haven't got one to hand, but ours had like a big oval, not oval, but this big piece on the front. It had a really large hoover roundel. But again, this has a little circular piece here with no hoover logo on it, so that's a bit different. So that's different. And the, maybe the, yes, I was going to say it swivels. Um, pip fitting on there, so that's all intact, so that's good. I'm not sh exactly sure what they call this brown colour, but I do I put that over there, let's put this over here, there we go. So we have the hose. I think this is the same hose that we had on the Hoover Portable, and I believe the Concept Cleaners in the late 70s had this hose as well. Um, I'm not sure what Hoover call it, I can't quite remember. It might be... Is it Hoover Flex? I think that might be the, the stretchy one. But anyway, same uh, same design as what we had over here. It articulates here. And 
and we have the converter in a brown colour. Just the same as ours, but a different colour. So that's cool, that's the hose. So it's nice that he sent the tools that match this machine. So we have the outer bag in that very nice brown colour scheme. Leave the lettering's intact. Little hook there for the bag. Very strange these American machines that have this type of bag. They're sort of like a vinyl. Well, not sort of a vinyl, they are a vinyl, but I don't know, I just don't think the quality is as good as our ones. But it's interesting anyway. So it has a type C bag in it, so of course it is bottom fill. Got the band there, just like we had. And brown bellows, that's nice and it matches. So the bag is completely intact, there is... Is it genuine though? Yes it is, of course. Wouldn't expect anything less of him. <laughs> but um, yeah, the zip is fully functioning, there's no rips or tears, so... Very, very good, very nice. I think he said he got this from an estate sale, I'm not really sure what that means. Um, I'm not sure if that's something we do over here. So he sent a, um, the handle sections inside a bag there, so this is very nice matching sort of brown colour, that's cool. Now that's different, it's got the, the latch thing, the spring loaded latch like we had on the Senior. And uh, of course the switch on the handle brown card and that I believe this is known to some American collectors as a I think they call that a fanny plug. In America fanny means um, a reference to a person's behind. In the UK fanny means something completely different. It's a slang term for a lady's well you know but anyway well, that's interesting packaging I might reuse that. Headlight lens has popped up. So it's quite scuffed on top. Well, that's not the end of the world. As you can see, it looks very nice. Just needs popping back in. And get that in place. Anyway, might need a bit of glue to keep that in position. But there's the, uh, the main machine in that nice brown and yellow colour scheme. We have the brush roll. Bristles are in great shape. So yes, it's model 1060. Let's have a quick look inside the... underneath the base plate. So I have a, a metal fan. Of course it's a, a metal base cleaner. Ooh, sorry about the loud noise there. I like how the... Uh, the wheels are in a matching brown colour, that's cool. So there we have it. So I'm not sure where these gouges have come from on top of the machine. I don't remember seeing those before. Maybe they happened in transit. But anyway, there's the... it's a bit cold. But there we have it. That's the machine itself. Of course we have the hard floor nozzle. The pip fitting's a bit broken off on that. That's not the end of the world. And this is something different that came with the convertibles that we didn't have with the Senior. This is the telescopic wand, as you can see. We didn't have that, ours was just two wand pieces. So that's a bit different. I think the convertible that we had, which was called the Dilematic in the UK, in, the, in America, sorry, it was called the convertible in the UK, that had this wand because that was one of the uh, top of the line cleaners. So there we have it. That's the machine. So I think what I'll do is I'll get it set up and uh, we'll see how well it performs. Alright, so we're back with the Hoover 1060 convertible 
And I have to say, I'm absolutely in love with this. I love the colour scheme. It's absolutely fantastic. It's in really, really good condition for its age. And it's nice to see that the headlight lens is still intact and that it's not warped because they had a tendency to warp for some reason. The headlight lenses and the hoods on the American models, I'm not sure why that is. Um, the hoods didn't really warp on the UK models, the seniors. Um, they just tended to break. If you drop things on them, they smash to pieces. But anyway, um, that would be a, a, a rare occurrence, I would imagine. But anyway, I was concerned when I unboxed this that the, uh, the gouge is on top of the hood here. And I thought, oh, I hope they haven't happened in transit if Customs has opened the box or something and, and carelessly put it back in. If that has, wasn't how he packed it. So I messaged him and uh, luckily the marks and gouges were already there um, when he got this. So obviously that's from normal use, so that's put that at ease for me. Um, I would have been quite upset if that um, those gouges had happened in, in transit. But anyway, um, I'm really in love with this. As I said, it's a lovely colour. I think you'll agree. It's very, very 70s. So I'm just going to uh, quickly unwind the cord here. I've got my transformer plugged in downstairs, so I've got my little extension cord thing. So, is it off? Yes, it's off. I'm just going to quickly plug this in here. There we go. So it's set on high, so that's fine. So um, I'm going to run this for the first time. I haven't switched this on yet, so we'll see how it, how it runs. So here goes. absolutely fantastic well I'm really really pleased with this that is amazing really really pleased so what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna just quickly put pop the uh, the tool converter in hence the name convertible there we go and we'll uh, just have a quick Quick go, let's move it round a bit so you can see it better, there we are. Quick uh, test of the suction through the hose. that leaves a lot to be desired um, but as you expect from an old machine like this the suction was always better on the Hoover Junior than the Senior or in this case convertible here we have the um, the machine set up if you were cleaning hard floors so that's what um, the setup you would have back in the day rather interesting how they used to do things I think but anyway there we have it so overall I'm very very pleased with this I really love it I think it's a, um, a lovely colour scheme there's a a model I think I think it's 1076 and it's the same colour scheme as this I believe but it has maybe it's a bit lighter the the grey colour or the brown, I think it's more of a brown than a grey this, um, but the bag's sort of like a floral pattern, I think that looks really funky. Um, 
Another thing that I've noticed different is the handle grip on this. Don't know how well I can show you this. Let me just recline it. It's a bit different to ours. It has this sort of flat edge on here. I don't know if you can see that, but ours has a different. I don't have one here to show you, but ours has like a, a circular ridge design all the way down, whereas this one's just like a. I don't know. The design's a bit different. Okay then, so there we have it. So that was the Hoover 106. Um, 1060 convertible. Okay, so I better put this down because obviously this, if I'm not careful, this ceiling fan's going to come crashing down on me. So anyway, um, really, really um, pleased with this. So thanks very much for getting this to me if you're watching. Um, he doesn't like me to... Um, reference him in this in the videos and I understand that because you know people um, want their privacy and you have to respect that so um, anyway if you're watching thanks very much anyway I really like it really appreciate it um, and it's an asset to my collection so everyone else thanks very much for watching if you enjoyed this video then give it a thumbs up uh, comment if you wish I always enjoy your inputs and the little conversations below um, and if you want to see more from me, then please subscribe, if you haven't already. Um, and I just realised that I really need to get my hair cut, but... Oh well, I need to get my eyebrows done as well, they're a bit, a bit of a mess. Anyway, um, a bit irrelevant, but... Oh, it started snowing as well. Just thought I'd let you know. Anyway, I'll shut up now, because I'm just droning on, as usual. That's what I tend to do in these videos. But I'm sure you all don't mind, really. So anyway, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Take care.